735. Well, we've been hearing from tax preparers about delays of the IRS of millions of 2019 tax returns between the pandemic and budget cuts. It created what one tax expert calls the perfect storm. Fox 5 I team's Dana Fowl joins us now to help sort it all out. Hey, Dana. Hey, good morning, everybody, and happy weekend almost. So listen, millions of taxpayers actually popped their 2019 return in the mail and they did it on time. And that was just as the world was starting to shut down. So there's that. And then you add in things like, I don't know, fish, stinky cheese stuffed into that envelope. That is a thing, I assure you. Well, it's slow. It's 2021, but 2019 tax returns are, well, slow to return. And an IRS statement clears up what we've been hearing from tax preparers. Due to pandemic-related shutdowns, the IRS has not completed processing all 2019 returns. If they filed a paper return, what should take about six weeks in normal time is now taking up to a year. Bill Nemeth is an enrolled agent licensed by the IRS to guide taxpayers to answers. The IRS basically shut its doors mid-March a year ago due to the pandemic, and it only reopened facilities partially. And 2020 budget cuts have come to roost. So now they find themselves with a substantially smaller budget in 2010, they were 100,000 employees. Today, they're less than 80,000. The workforce is not only smaller from budget cuts, but the pandemic has slowed the workflow. Also, all returns mailed in, not electronically filed, must go to a center to be irradiated first so that gross and sometimes dangerous items stuffed in with the return don't hurt staff. And too many people send their paper returns in via certified mail, which means a human has to sign off on it and that slows things down. If you want to send something to the IRS, priority mail with tracking, because no one has to sign for it and you can prove when it was mailed and also when it was delivered. Okay, first, you, um a number of uh, writes on their website that the, the IRS said it also had sent out erroneously some forms called CP59 and did that telling more than 250,000 taxpayers that they hadn't filed their 2019 returns. That was a mistake because they actually had. Elise? So Dana, if you've sent it in and it's been a year to process and no one answers the phone, what do you do? Well, first, let me tell you this, file electronically. That eliminates so many issues, but some people simply do not do that. They still like to pop it in the mail. If you insist on a paper return, Mr. Nemeth has a trick he uses, particularly right now. He puts a check in there for, I don't know, like a dollar, two dollars, something like that, something that you're fine with. They will cash that as soon as they get it. That check gets cashed immediately, and that signals to you at least that they have it, and that that's can be used for tracking. Now you might not hear from them again for another couple of months, or maybe a year, or something like that. But at least you know mm -hmm. it's there. That is a great idea. Could take a lot of the guesswork out of it. Yeah, it's a good trick. Yeah, it really is. Mm -hmm. All right, Dana, thank you.